It's time for equitation education, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that most riders tend to overuse their hands and their upper body and underutilize their lower body. Whether it's a habit you have and you're doing this all the time, or it's something that you just end up doing when you get tired or you're having a hard time with your horse. Unfortunately for your horse, when we're always going to our hands to control them and to work with them, we're communicating directly with their mouth and their brain as opposed to when we're using our legs and our seat and we're working with our body and their body, which is a much kinder, gentler, um, and better way to communicate with our horse. But there's a lot of things you can do in yoga to help build up not only your strength in your lower body, but also learn how to use your hands less. So you're relying on them less, but you have to work at it. So I'm going to show you how to come from seated to standing and back to seated without using your hands, which will help train your legs. And I'll show you that now. So you'll have your feet flat on the floor, ankles under knees. You're going to look forward, be at that front edge of your chair, and then lift the hands. You're going to palms face up so the chest is open. And then lean forward and come up. And then you're gonna reverse it. You're gonna do the same thing to sit down. Make sure you're not tucking your butt to sit down. Stick your butt out. And if this is a piece of cake for you, you can come down to the floor without the chair. So you're gonna lower one knee down and come to kneeling. And then do it with the other leg in front. And you can practice that several times. And if that's a piece of cake for you, then come down to kneeling, tuck your toes under take your sitting bones back to your heels, and then rock the knees up. And you might have to just practice in this position first and get accustomed to it. The hands are gonna be elevated, and then eventually you work towards rocking back to lift your knees. And with practice, you might be able to get into a balanced position here, where you can stay and you really feel like you're in the center of yourself, which is gonna train you to be in the center of your horse. Use your hands less and your legs more.